A friend of mine, Diego, has written an excellent article on our website called How to Run Plex on Docker, the complete guide. Just the title you want to see, just an article you want to find, if you know what it all means. And I'm sure there are a lot of people out there who do, just like all of you guys who will come across this video because you are after the complete guide when trying to run Plex on Docker. And that's awesome. I'm really happy for you. The problem is everybody else. And honestly, including me. The first time I saw it, I was like, what the hell is Plex? And what the hell is Docker? Once you look into it though, Plex kind of makes sense. I mean, you'll see that in a minute, but what about Docker? So I thought, what a great opportunity to take on something I hardly understand myself and make sense of it all. Not just for myself, but for all of you guys who I know would actually benefit from it and most likely feel like, wow, this is actually exactly what I've been needing all this time. Thank you, Ivan, you'll say, and I will feel all warm and fuzzy on the inside. I'm sure you've heard of Netflix. Plex is kind of like your personal Netflix, but better. It has all your favorite media exactly the way you like it. Whether you're a movie buff with a massive digital collection, a TV show fanatic, or just want to stream your home videos and music, Plex has got you covered. Now, here's where it gets even cooler. You know how annoying it is when you move or change your computer and suddenly you have to go through the annoying process of reinstalling everything? Imagine you could set up Plex in a way that's super easy to manage, update and even move around if you do actually switch your computers. That's where Docker comes in. Simply put, Docker lets you run applications like Plex in these little neat packets that they call containers. It might sound a bit tacky, but it's simpler than you think. All right, so let's back up a bit and start with the basics. So what is Plex? Think of Plex as your personal streaming service. Plex is quite literally like Netflix, if Netflix was your personal app. It's a media server application that organizes your personal media libraries and streams them to any device that you choose. So imagine having all of your movies, TV shows, music and photos in one place, easily accessible from your computer, phone, tablet, TV and even your gaming console. That's Plex in a nutshell. You install it on your computer and it turns that device into a powerful media server. You can then access your content from wherever you are, at home or outside on the go. Just like in a case of Netflix, it doesn't matter where you are. Actually, Netflix kind of sucks in this. You won't see the same shows anywhere on the planet and you have to use VPN if you want to see your list, but not with Plex. But the next obvious question is why? Why even bother when you have things like Google Drive, right? Well, here's why Plex is awesome. Plex automatically sorts out your media and adds cover art, summaries, and all the other detail. And I know what I'm actually talking about. Some of my Google Drives are a proper mess. So having a tool that is tidier than you is just awesome. Next is the multi-device support. Plex works pretty much on anything and it gives you full remote access so that you can watch your favorite movies while you're on vacation and all you need is a Wi-Fi or data access. And if you like sharing, you can stream your media to your family and friends so they can enjoy your collection too. Sharing is caring, remember? No more limited access with most streaming services that care how many users use the license. And if the standard package isn't enough, you've got all the extras and plugins. Plex Pass, for instance, offers all the extras like TV and DVD capabilities, trailers and web shows. Honestly, Plex is the perfect way to keep everything organized, accessible and shareable. Okay, so now you are a bit of a Plex expert. Next up, we need to dive into Docker. Don't worry, we'll keep it simple and straightforward. Docker is a tool designed to make it easier to create, deploy and run applications by using containers. So what is this new term container? What does it even mean, you ask? Think of them as lightweight portable packages of software that include everything needed to run a piece of software code, runtime, system tools, libraries and settings. Essentially, they are like these prefabricated units of software that are ready for your applications without you needing to meet any special requirements. Here's a casual way of thinking about it. Imagine you have a favorite recipe for a cake. Normally, you'd need to gather all the ingredients, measure everything out and hope that everything works out. And even then, it can all go wrong. Docker is like a cake mix where everything is pre-measured and pre-packaged. You just need to add water or milk, or in this case, start the container and you'll get a perfect cake every time, 
regardless of your kitchen setup. And if that does not impress you much, here are a few cool reasons to love it. Docker containers run the same way regardless of where they are deployed. This means that you can develop an application on your laptop and can be confident that it will run the same way on the server or in the cloud. Each container runs in its own isolated environment. This keeps your applications and their dependencies separate, reducing conflicts and simplifying maintenance. Containers include everything needed to run an application, making it easy to move between different environments without any changes. Containers are lightweight and use fewer resources than traditional virtual machines. This means that you can run more applications on the same hardware. In short, Docker makes managing and deploying applications simpler, more consistent and more efficient. It's a bit like having a superpower for IT management. All right, now that you've got a handle on Docker, you might be wondering how Docker and Plex fit in together. Well, that's where the magic happens. Okay, let me give you a fast list of eight reasons why running Plex on Docker actually makes so much sense. Docker takes the hassle out of installing and managing software. Running Plex on Docker means that you don't have to worry about all the fiddly bits of setting up Plex manually. Docker containers come pre-configured, so you just pull the Plex container image and start it up. Remember how I said that Docker containers are like small portable packages? This means you can move your Plex setup between different machines or environments with minimal fuss. Docker containers run in their own isolated environments. This means that running Plex in a Docker container keeps it separate from the rest of your system. If something goes wrong with Plex, your computer is untouchable. Docker ensures that Plex runs the same way no matter where you deploy it. Remember that cake mix? It's consistent whether you make it today, tomorrow or for your son's birthday. It's always the same, just like Docker. Docker containers are lightweight compared to traditional virtual machines. This means that you can run more containers on the same hardware. You can easily let Plex run alongside other applications without bogging down your system. With Docker, backing up your Plex setup is straightforward. You can easily save the state of your container and all of its data. Docker is widely used and has a strong community behind it. You have a question? Ask away. There are plenty of resources, tutorials and support forums available to help you anytime you need them. Docker allows you to experiment with different configurations and setups without making permanent changes to your system. Want to test a new version of Plex or try out some plugins? Do it! Remember those isolated containers? Docker's got your back. In a nutshell, running Plex on Docker just makes sense. To be honest, now I feel like everything in life should have a Docker. Anyway guys, I hope this helps you to understand what is what. Now when it comes to the installation guide, I will link Diego's blog post in the description below. So go check it out and tell him that Ivan sent you. I'll see you next time. Oh, and I almost forgot. Show us some support, show us some love. Like, subscribe and let us know how you feel about us, how you feel about these videos and guides down below in the comments and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!